What's up guys, back again with another UFC Fight Picks video on the UFC 212 card, Aldo versus Holloway, and we're finally uh, going to talk about the main card, which is obviously, uh, you know, pretty much what everybody mostly watches, a lot of people don't watch Fight Pass prelims, some people watch the FS1 prelims, but pretty much everybody is trying to watch the main card, mainly the uh, co-main and the uh, main event. But we got five fights on the main card, so let's go ahead and get started here. First fight on pay per view is uh, Eric Silva versus Yancy Maderos. Let's go ahead and open up their pages here, real quick. Should be a pretty fun fight here, though. We got Eric Silva here, kicks and takedowns as a summary. What else we got? Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, his last fight and last win was against Luan Chagas. He got a third round submission in a fight of the night. Both these guys were going at it. Pretty much, you know, a lot of exchanging punches. Um, yeah, you know, they were always looking for the finish pretty much. Uh, before that, he actually got finished by Nordin Taleb and also lost the decision uh, to Neil Magny. That was in 2015, though. Um, but yeah, recently, you know, Silva looks like he's getting a little bit more technical, looking a little bit more calm, using the jab, uh, you know, setting up his strikes. And the Chagas fight, he looked very patient, very calm, and was doing pretty decent until he got caught with a big left hook. And, uh, you know, then everything kind of changed there. You know, the pace of the fight uh, wasn't as technical after that, but he's still kind of, you know, like... He's, he was still a little bit technical though because he, he was still you know using his jab not just throwing wild strikes which is kind of how you know Eric Silva used to fight uh, you know he was a lot more wild before uh, now it looks like I'm like I'm saying that he's looking a little bit more technical you know using the jab to set up his strikes uh, being more patient also in his attack so he's not over aggressive uh, but usually which us, uh, usually gets him caught um, ate some big shots against Chagas, got knocked down like twice in the fight, but you know, still came out with the win. Let's go ahead and talk about Madero's here. So, uh, summary of stand up, fighting, and fighting instinct. Uh, the reach advantage looks like Madero's has a one inch reach advantage. Uh, anyways, Madero's coming off a pretty good performance against uh, Sean Spencer. Uh, it was actually his welterweight debut, I want to say, uh, at least in the UFC, anyway. So, you know, now this guy's at 170 pounds. He was at 155 pretty much his whole uh, UFC career. Uh, but yeah, against Sean Spencer, as you can see, the strikes are pretty even there. I want to say Sean Spencer won the first round. He was kind of just kind of outpointing him on the feet. He was landing a lot of right hands. He was looking, it was looking good. I actually had uh, Sean Spencer winning that fight, but I also had him as an underdog pick. Uh, Medeiros was the favorite on that fight. Um, Anyway, so, yeah, Madero's uh, ended up landing a clean head kick on Sean Spencer, which, uh, you know, put Spencer on the ground, and on the ground, Madero was able to go, go for the finish and get that submission win. So, you know, it was a pretty pretty good fight for Madero's there. He looked pretty decent. Um, so, yeah, I think these guys match up well. Um, I, I just, you know, question uh, Silva's durability. His chin looks like whenever he gets caught clean, it looks like he gets hurt. Uh, I, don't, I think this could be a problem here. I mean, Madero isn't the most technical striker. But, I mean, it looks like he has some pop in his punches. Uh, let's just check his uh, UFC career here. I mean, he doesn't have a lot of wins by knockout in the UFC anyway. And, I mean, I guess he was at 155. But, I mean, he landed some pretty good head kicks on Spencer. Uh, that was eating all kinds of head kicks. Um... So, I mean, Silva could get caught with something, guys, which is why a lot of people don't really want to pick Eric Silva. You know, they, they think this guy's kind of done already. You know, that post-USADA type of shit. Uh, for me, you know, he's a slight underdog. Uh, and on DraftKings, he's a little bit cheaper. So, fuck it. I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and pick Eric Silva on this one, guys. Uh, first of all, I think he's a little bit better, uh, you know, striking-wise, as far as being a little bit more technical and whatnot. I think Darryl's a little bit more wild. Um, but Madero's also looks like he's improving his stand-up and on the ground both these guys are good on the ground But I, I want to say Eric Silva also has the advantage on the ground So I just think Madero's has the advantage in being more durable having the reach 
maybe the aggression, but other than that, I, I think Silva could take it as long as he, as long as he, as long as he uh, doesn't get uh, you know clipped clean with any uh, with any big shots. So I'm picking Eric Silva here, guys. And also, this is gonna be a fun fight. So yeah, there's not gonna be a, a decision fight here. I think someone's gonna get a someone's gonna get finished here, pretty much. So yeah, I'm picking uh, Eric Silva, and I think he's gonna win in the second round uh, with a body kick. That's gonna be my my prediction, guys, because Madero's. I think I think his stance allows him to get hit with those body kicks, and uh, Silva has a pretty clean body kick. So yeah, uh, Silva, second round knockout. All right, next fight we got Paulo Balrichinha versus uh, Bambose. Pretty quick pick here, guys. I'm picking uh, picking a uh, Paulo here. Uh, this guy's very aggressive. All 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 his wins are in the first round. All wins by finish. Obviously, because he's you know obviously finishing him in the first round. Um, yeah, this guy's a striker, ton of power, fast hands. Um, yeah, I mean, he looks—he's he, looking like a fucking, like a beast on his feet, and he's fighting. He has a perfect matchup here against another guy that likes to keep it on the feet, uh, Bambose. Uh, both these guys, straight finishers, mostly with their hands. Uh, Bambose actually has really good kicks, so you know, obviously his kicks too, not just hands. Uh, so yeah, I don't see this fight. It might not even go out of the first round, guys. Man, this is gonna be this is gonna be a finish. Um, so it should be ex an exciting fight while it lasts. But I'm gonna pick the heav the more heavily handed guy, and I want to say, uh, you know, the more confident, the more aggressive guy, and that's Paulo uh, Barichinha. I also think he's just a better striker overall. I think Bamboze relies too much on his kicks, and. Yeah, man, Paulo's a, a big ass fucking middleweight too, man. That guy looks fucking yoked as fuck. That guy look like a damn 205er, man. Um, but yeah, this guy's hungry, wants that win, and man, he's he's fucking aggressive as fuck. So yeah, I see the finish happening in the first round. So uh, picking Paulo, uh, first round knockout. All right, next fight here we got Vitor Belfort versus Nate Marquardt. A fight of two veterans. Uh, both these guys got a lot of miles on them. Um, both of them. You know, are now kind of being known as you know less durable or kind of you know like, kind of like glass chins now. Mark Hart could still take a couple more shots than than Balfour. Uh, I mean, both these guys are are a little bit chinny nowadays. Uh, but I mean, Balfour's getting smoked by the best guys though. So I mean, it's no, there's no shame in that. Uh, the thing is, he's losing in the first round most of the time now. So that that's like I said, that's kind of questioning his durability. Plus, he's getting older. He's actually two years older than Marquardt. Belfort's 40 and Marquardt's 38. So I mean, yeah, these are some older fighters, but obviously, you know, they st they're still fighting and they're veterans. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's gonna be a good fight, guys. Uh, but anyways, as far as my pick, um, yeah, I, th I think Belfort for sure is the better striker here. Way more technical on the feet. Still has those fast hands as he showcased in the in the Gaslam fight for a bit. I mean, you could tell he still has some some quick hands. Um, still still explosive, just not as explosive as before when he was uh, TRT Belfort. I mean, TRT Belfort was just a fucking monster. <clears throat> he was just knocking everybody out. Um, obviously, Belfort's a little bit different now. But another thing here to know is now uh, Belfort is uh, training was training over there at Canada. At TriStar with uh, you know Faraz Sahabi, obviously a great coach and man that guy that guy's a really good coach. So I, I'm very interested to see what kind of game plan he's gonna have for Belfour. Maybe he's gonna be like more patient and then explode or something like that. You know I'm I'm very interested to see that. Um, I think Markar here has a chance to win though. I think if he takes it to the ground or maybe just catches Bal Balfour clean on the feet. I mean he could knock him out. Markar still has power. Um, but on the ground, I think Marquardt could get one of those takedowns on him. I, I think, you know, he could do some damage, you know, on the ground. But I, I really think Vitor is going to come out here motivated, now training with the new coach and whatnot. Uh, I, I expect Vitor to look, you know, obviously not, not like TRT Belfort uh, but, or TRT Vitor. But, you know, I, I just expect him a little, to look a little bit better, uh, more sharper, and have a better game plan. So... I think if Belfort keeps that distance and, you know, only strikes when he needs to strike, I think he should be able to get the win, guys. Uh, another fight here that I also kind of don't really see going to decision. Both these guys, they're older, so, I mean, both of them, like I said, both both of these guys, they're just, they're just not as durable no more. So, I, I see also see a finish here happening in this fight. So, I mean, Marco could get a, could get a finish, Belfort could get a finish, but... 
I'm picking Balfour, guys. Um, I still like the you know the line here, the Phenom. So yeah, I'm picking Balfour, and I think he's gonna get a uh, a late first round knockout. So yeah, Balfour first round knockout. All right, next fight we got uh, Claudia Gadella versus Carolina uh, Kowakiwix uh, in the uh, co-main event. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and just give you guys a quick pick here again. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and pick Claudia, guys. The reason I'm picking Claudia is, first of all, she has just amazing wrestling, man. She's, the, I think she's probably the best wrestler at 115. I mean, you could say maybe Esparza is a better wrestler, but man, Gadella is way more explosive. And yeah, man. Overall, I just think she's way better than than fucking Carla Esparza, man. Um, Gadella, I mean, just really good takedowns. Her striking's also pretty good. I mean, there really isn't much of a weakness to Gadella besides maybe her gas tank. And the thing is, this is a three-round fight. And, man, she... I mean, I know in her last fight, or her fight against Joanna, you know, the second fight, uh, she won those first two rounds. I think the third round is when Joanna started taking the fight back. But, I mean, it kind of shows that Gadella, if she could just have a really solid gas tank all five rounds, man, she would be... She'd probably be the champion right now. But, yeah, I mean... I think Adela should be able to take it here, guys. Uh, Carolina's a good striker, good output, um, but doesn't really have huge knockout power or can really threaten really off her back to, you know, to really defend from the takedowns. I mean, maybe she could stuff a takedown or two, but, I mean, I really think Adela's going to just really just smash her on the ground. I think she's really going to be explosive with those takedowns, take her down, and just, just beat her up on the ground. So, I think it's going to be a bad night for uh, Carolina here. Uh, I mean, I know, I know everybody's kind of on the on the Carolina train right now because, you know, she is kind of kind of bomb, you know. She's an a, attractive fighter. But, yeah, I mean, I, I can't really see her getting the win here, guys. Uh, yeah, I mean, I know she she did a okay, I guess, against John Jacek. But it was only really for, like, a round, like, when she when she hurt John Jacek. Um... But other than that, I mean, she kind of got beat up by on Jacek. So, I mean, yeah. I don't know. Two people are giving, uh, I think, Carolina a little bit too much credit there. Um, but, yeah, anyways, guys, I'm picking uh, Cloudy here. Just just way more well-rounded. The wrestling will win her the fight. And also, her stand-up isn't horrible. So, yeah, Godella. Uh, and, yeah, this is fight I actually do see uh, going to decision. So, yeah, Godella by decision. All right, now for the main event, guys. We got Jose Aldo versus Max Holloway. He got the champion versus the interim champ. Uh, man, this is a hard fight to pick. I mean, at the same time, at the same time, it's not too hard because Aldo is primarily, you know, the safe pick here, man. You know, obviously fighting in his home home country and whatnot over there in Brazil. Um, looked good against Frankie Edgar. He's not coming off that McGregor like he's, he's coming off uh, a Frankie Edgar win. Where he looked pretty damn good, you know, pretty dominant, dominated Edgar pretty much all five rounds. Uh, still shows that he has excellent take on the fence, super good striking, still fast, still explosive, um, still durable. Besides, you know, even though he got knocked out by uh, McGregor really quickly, um, yeah, he's still durable. Holloway here though, uh, really good volume, throws a lot of fucking output. As you can see, he lands almost six strikes, uh, landed per minute there. <clears throat> uh, has a lot of reach, knows how to use his reach. Um, also, could be dangerous on the ground, not just not just on the feet with his striking. Um, so yeah, this guy could finish you anywhere, man. But it's it's gonna be a fun fight. Uh, Holloway looks very confident. You know, he's saying he's gonna win and whatnot. Um, the, I think the, you know, what's, what's really going to decide the fight is, if, is Aldo really going to use those kicks and is Aldo going to go for takedowns? Because I know Aldo should be the better fighter on the ground. I know he got that, you know, jiu-jitsu black belt. At least I'm pretty sure he does. Um, I mean, he has some underrated, you know, underrated ground game, man. If he uses his ground game in this fight, takes Holloway down. And you know, beats up Holloway up, you know, on the ground, or maybe works for a submission. Man, he can do some damage. So I mean, you know, it's kind of crazy how Aldo never really uses his ground game. But I mean, obviously his stand up is just so good. Um, but yeah, also the leg kicks. I mean, if Aldo is able to land a couple leg kicks per round, man, he's gonna do a lot of damage to Holloway. Holloway seems to really, you know, 
being that stance where he's open to those leg kicks. Uh, so, man, I could see this guy getting chopped up. That, that's kind of the main reason why I'm picking Aldo, guys. Also, because Aldo is, you know, obviously a fucking beast. And, you know, he has pretty much the safe pick here, guys. Um, I know it's a close fight, but I, I, I believe that Aldo here should be able to get it done. Um, if, if Holloway could outwork him, I mean, maybe he could win by points. But, I mean, this is Brazil, guys. I mean, it's not like in Vegas or anything like that. So, yeah, I think even if Holloway does a shit ton of output, I think Aldo will probably still win the fight. So, I think Holloway needs to get a finish. And I just don't think he's going to be able to get it, guys. So, I'm picking Aldo to win. Uh, I could see this going to decision or maybe like a late finish. But, you know what? I, I think Aldo will probably take it by decision. So, yeah. Aldo uh, by decision. All right, guys, that's going to be it for my picks on the uh, main card. I've now uh, shared my picks with you guys on the whole card. If you guys haven't check out, checked out the other picks, like on the Fight Pass prelims or the FS1 prelims, uh, check out those videos on my uh, YouTube channel. But, yeah, guys, that's going to be it. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Subscribe for more uh, videos. I do these uh, UFC fight pick videos for you guys uh, whenever there's a UFC card. Um... I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to do a DraftKings video uh, tomorrow, like, I want to say, like, before the fight start, obviously, so maybe, like, around, like, 1.30 p.m. Pacific time, something like that. I'll try to do a video for you guys on DraftKings, just try to give you guys my favorite plays uh, for, for the, uh, the DraftKings UFC 212 uh, slate. So, yeah, that's going to be it, guys, though. Uh, thanks for watching, and catch you guys on the next video, and uh, enjoy the fights.